Oh, there we go, man, right there. Oh man, nice fish. Hey, what's going on Salt Star Nation? Richard here, and today I've got a couple quick tips for you on how to catch quality fish in the summer. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so there's a few different ways to catch fish in the summer, but the one that I'm gonna be going over specifically today is catching quality fish in shallow water in the summer. So there's really three things you need to know. One is gonna be when, second is gonna be where, and then finally, and the most important in my opinion, is gonna be the tide cycle. So the first tip I've got for you is when to fish. Now, my favorite times to fish in the summer are gonna be early in the morning or later in the evening, and even at night sometimes as well. However, you wanna make sure that these kind of twilight periods are gonna be the main focus, specifically when you're fishing in those shallow water areas. The reason why is just like in the winter, those shallow flats are gonna be the ones that warm up first especially in places like your mud flats and things like that, that really warm up well in the winter and have a darker bottom, those are gonna warm up the fastest in the summer as well. So kind of in that middle part of the day is gonna really be when those areas are the hottest, there's not gonna be as much oxygen in the water and there might not even be a whole lot of bait on those flats during that time period. So you wanna make sure you're targeting the evening or the morning time periods and that's gonna be your best bet. All right, so the second tip I'm gonna be getting into is gonna be where to fish. Now we're talking about shallow water specifically and your flats, however, they're not all created equal. So in the summertime, you wanna make sure you're next to a few things. One, you wanna make sure you've got some good deeper water nearby, because what this does is allow those fish to have a good escape route. It's also really gonna help with a lot of that new water coming in, especially on like an incoming tide. It's gonna be a lot more oxygen and cooler water, and it's gonna help with the current flow and that's really the things that you wanna focus on when fishing those flats. And like I said, if you can pair that up with an evening or morning bite, that's gonna be perfect for fishing those shallow water areas and those flats. The other thing that's important about picking out a flat is making sure it's got some type of structure or pinch points such as a grass line or even some oysters that's really going to help those fish uh, kind of key in on some areas to target bait that's getting washed in from that deeper water. All right guys, so the third point I wanna go over is going to be the tide cycle. Now, I really enjoy fishing the incoming tide cycle in the summertime. The reason why is because you get all that clean, fresh, new water along with bait coming in and it's got a lot more oxygen in it compared to an outgoing tide. You know, we just talked about that shallower water over those big mud flats. That stuff's gonna heat up a lot faster and there's not gonna be near as much oxygen or bait coming off. And it's really just not gonna be very comfortable for the fish. So a lot of times during those tide periods, they're gonna actually retreat to some deeper water. But we're wanting to fish in some shallower water. So really that low incoming tide is gonna be perfect, especially if you pair it up in the morning time, you you'll have several really good hours in a larger feeding window than you would if you went and fished in the middle of the day or sometimes even in the evening. An incoming tide, especially first thing in the morning, is really gonna set you up for success to get that larger bite window and catch some nice fish. So guys, I really like throwing paddle tails on the flats. The reason why is because you can cover so much water and on the flats, there's not always necessarily structure and things like that, that fish can go and kind of hide behind and things like that. So by having a lure that's gonna allow you to cover a lot of water, something like a big paddle tail is gonna get noticed and you can cover a ton of water and find where those fish are. All right, guys, and remember, if you need any of this gear or equipment, we have all this at our shop page at fishstrong.com. And again, if you have any questions about this, definitely be sure to leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get back with you. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.